Can you see my fringe? A look at the floor hi guys welcome to another video so it is finally time to remove her these braids i hope you guys are doing okay we are finally in 2024 happy new year to every one of you i hope you guys are doing okay so this is how these braids look after three weeks of having them on i'm going to go ahead and cut the braids up to where my hair is ending yeah, I'm trying to be careful because the yarn that I used is black and my hair is black. So it's like kind of blended. So I'm carefully cutting so that my hair is not cut short. I'm going to repeat the same process everywhere. And this is how we are looking. So I'm going to go ahead with this water in the spray bottle. It's just tap water. I'm just putting to moisturize the hair so that as I'm moving the braids the hair won't be breaking spray spray everywhere then when i'm done i'm going to go ahead and uh, start unbraiding i'm just going to be using my hands to remove the braids it's quite easy as you guys can see so i'm using my hands because i'm trying to reduce the chances of my hair breaking so this past month i've been working on retaining my hair length and so far so good because i've been trying as much as possible to avoid anything that will put tension on my hair anything that is going to like be manipulative to my hair that can cause breakage i try as much as possible to avoid that i always moisturize the hair and yeah as you can see here there's many more um product build up in the braids so i'm just going to like separate the hair so that my wash day will be a bit shortened and easier so after separating the hair i'm just going to check my length guys my hair is becoming thick and i'm just so happy about that so i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process everywhere in my hair so as you guys can see my scalp looks clean and there's some undergrowth right there um i did a video i posted a video a few weeks ago on my channel you guys should check it out it's about how i take care of my hair when it's in braids on how i moisturize it to avoid breakage so i'll leave a link in the description so that you guys can check it out and as i was unbraiding my hair i was watching one of my favorite youtubers her name is natalia she's a fashion designer if you guys don't know i also like um anything to do with sewing clothes i actually make my own clothes and a few of my friends clothes and i have some clients who make some orders i make for them i actually have some videos on my channel also where i was sewing so if you're interested you can check them out i'll leave some links in the description box uh, i was just showing you guys how i keep myself entertained in the whole process during the whole process of taking down the braids because it takes me time i'm the only one who always removes the hair there's no one who helps me to remove the hair so in order to get myself entertained i just watch some videos maybe i put a movie yeah just to keep myself entertained so after removing some braids maybe four or five i put it together i twist it so that the hair won't shrink and it actually makes the washing process easier because the hair won't be that tangled so i'll go ahead and repeat the same process ever in my head oh another another lens check and we are done that was some magic <laughs> yeah so it took me about three hours to take these braids out let me just show you the back how my back looks my hair is giving okay <laughs> yeah so i'm just going to go ahead and uh remove the twist i'm going to undo the twists everywhere and this is how the afro is looking i know it's not that big but guys it's a big achievement to reach this far my hair was was very short 
Yeah, so um, after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is to shampoo and condition the hair using these products. And voila, I'm done shampooing and washing the hair. Just checking it out. Look at that forehead. Let's cover it. Mm -mm. So I'm going I'm going to go ahead and um, separate the hair into sections because I'm going to blow dry it. So for blow drying, I'm going to use this dryer this hair dryer and yeah i'm going to go in sections in smaller sections to blow dry the hair and yeah i'm just using the the dryer yeah to dry the hair and again as usual i'm not using a comb here i'm just pulling the hair with my hand of course i'm not using a, a lot of force i'm just being careful i'm repeating the process until the hair dries and it gets stretched so here i'm just combing it out just a little bit to remove the tangles and as you guys can see as the water in the hair is drying the hair actually gets stretched as well so i don't need to straighten it after this process it just gets stretched as i do the blow drying process so this is how much my hair has been stretched you guys can see my hair can shrink yeah so after that to avoid it from shrinking again i'm going to put it in the twist again uh, so that i can blow dry the rest of the hair so guys i just want to let you know that i don't do this blow drying process every time that i wash my hair because applying too much heat on your hair can actually damage your curls they damage your hair it won't be able to be like an afro as it is supposed to yeah so i just do this sometimes when i want my hair to be more manageable maybe i'm busy the next day i won't be able to handle the shrinkage so that's the only time that i blow dry the hair so um, as you can see, each time I'm done blow drying a section, I just go ahead and put it away in a twist. So let me tell you what happened to my hair some years ago. It was in 20, 2018. I was in my 12th grade. So my hair cut in the middle and seeing this middle part now grown like this makes me so happy. So yeah, magic trick again. Da we are done i've blow dried the hair yeah so i'm going to go ahead and use this blue magic indian hemp hair food to just scalp my hair so as i was saying when i was in my 12th grade my hair cut in the middle i don't know maybe it was because of the sh of the cord because um i was in boarding school and seeing my hair this length not again seeing my hair this length for the first time actually feels really really nice and talking about hair have you guys already set your 2024 hair goals because i have my goal this year is to continue working on my length retention so that's my goal for this year i hope you guys will set your goals for this year and yeah we can do this together so guys i just want to say thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing to everyone who subscribed and if you haven't yet subscribed, if you are new here, my name is Venzu Namanje. I'm a Zambian based in Morocco and I love, love doing hair content. I have a lot of videos on hair on my channel. I have some vlogs as well as sewing videos. So if you are interested in those, you can check out my channel. Yeah, so if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Guys, I'm always so excited to reply to your comments. Thank you to everyone who comments on my videos. And let me take this opportunity to give a shout out to Frida Mugambi. I hope I've pronounced your name properly. Thank you so much for always watching and commenting on my videos. So guys, I'm now done applying the hair food to the scalp as well as the hair. I'm going to go ahead and undo the twists this time for the last time because we've been doing and undoing 
the hair so i'm going to let you guys hear the excitement that i had after seeing my hair this long okay so here we go guys guys my hair has grown it is longer and thick it is thick the length is giving as you can see i'm doing it like this <laughs> can you see my fringe my eyes are like almost like closed take care of your hair properly and it will grow and you're going to be excited just the way i am right now okay it's grown and gotten short at some point but right now i'm like properly taking care of it and yeah i can see the results you can see the results and i can see the results as well like a look at the parole i'll see you guys in my next video stay tuned okay stay tuned for more hair growth tips i'll see you guys in my next video i'll tell you